Hi crocheters of the world, I'm Juana and this is Juana's Crochet channel on YouTube and in this tutorial I want to show you how to crochet this uh, cardigan that I'm wearing right now. It's uh, a um, very fashionable, I can say, uh, shape and I really wanted uh, to, to, to buy it but um, in my mind was the idea, no, I don't want to buy it because I just want to create mine and to crochet it. So finally, <laughs> here I am, I, I did it and hope you enjoy, you will enjoy this um, creation of mine. It's, you'll see, it's really, it's a top down actually and it's worked with a stitch that I already uh, imply in another um, project in another um, blouse it's a blouse I think so I will add the link under uh, below this tutorial of the blouse and of the stitch of course on my blog you will have the instructions and I wrote the instructions in three sizes so the most important part actually of the um, of the cardigan is the beginning so the chain round a uh, row and the first row actually so the chain and the first row so i uh, put three sizes on my blog on the written instruction so it's the first one it's mine it's the way the the one that i i worked it's a small to medium size and then it's another one that it's um for large size and then uh, um, it's for extra large another one but uh, you just have to work the first round row sorry it's a cardigan so it's row <laughs> you have to work the first row and then just try not try just measure yourself uh, the back side from one uh, from mid uh, shoulder to uh, the other mid shoulder and if it fits it's just perfect you can continue on okay so because for a top down the very important measure and i always try to underline this the very important uh, measure is this one from mid shoulder to mid shoulder on the back side so if this is uh taken correctly it's really easy to continue on so uh, in this um, in this pattern is uh, the same uh, the same thing now what else i want to tell you about this um i don't know it's a uh, oh yes i i uh, like to wear it close to like this it's really nice and i have this uh, oops this thing <laughs> that it's really really nice is it's a accessory that it's really really nice to have i bought it on uh, amazon so if you amazon it's it's for everybody so it's worldwide so i can put the link below so if you want to um, buy it you can it's really really nice for shawls and for uh, this kind of cardigans it's really really uh, nice and helpful now what else i can say uh, yes it's about this it's so i i actually called it uh, how I called it? Uh, yes, it's cozy and chic because this is what I think it's casual and chic because yes, it's casual. It's a casual cardigan, cardigan but it's also chic. So hope you enjoy this tutorial and of course if you have some problems while working this you can just ask me and I will be more than happy to help you to make it uh, yourself so uh, see you at the next tutorial don't forget to thumb up if you like my tutorials and to leave me a nice comment bye bye okay so now in the tutorial i just want to um show you actually to explain what i already wrote in my uh, uh on my blog so i give you two ways two numbers of uh, chains to begin so you will see which of them so one is for s uh, m let's say medium a small and medium 
size and the other one is for large to, to extra large size. So I will put one more, so it will be three, yes, three measures, so even for uh, uh, extra, extra large and so on. So now I'm working on a little swatch here just to show you the steps and just to explain uh, what I wrote on my blog, so exactly what it means. So now I will, I put the chains here that I need to begin. I will skip the first two and into the third, insert your hook and work for the first cluster. But for the first cluster, we will work only two double crochets. I'm finished. Because we have the first chain two that we skipped, that um, um, is uh, our first double crochet. So yarn over, pull through all, uh, chain to secure and chain one more, don't forget to chain one. Okay, now skip one chain, chain one and work your second uh, cluster. And now you will continue and exactly the same I wrote on my explanation uh, on my blog, so it's uh, continue on until you will have the number that you need. So now in this case it's 11. So I will just continue on until I have 11 clusters with uh, chain one, skip one chain, work one cluster. So this means chain one, skip one chain, work one cluster. So one, two, three. Okay, I work one cluster, one more. So chain one, skip one chain and work one cluster. And this is what you will find on the written instruction. Okay, so I will continue on for the number that uh, I need for the front side. Okay, of course this is less. The number of the clusters here are less because it's just this watch. So here I have my 11 clusters. So we will go on for the um, number that you choose and uh, you will see it's uh, then you will see the number that you have to the number of cluster that you have to work in the description now we will chain one skip one chain and into the next we'll work the first raglan in increase which means we will work one cluster so actually we are working one cluster chain one and one more cluster into the same chain and this is the raglan increase the first one and we need three markers of course for the uh, sorry four markers for the four uh, raglan increases so now i will take my first one and put into the chain one in between the two clusters so this is my first raglan increase now i will go on and work my uh, sleeve here and for this little swatch I will work only uh, three clusters for the sleeve so I just want to continue on with the sleeve so I already worked my three clusters for the sleeve and now what I want to do is to work another increase so I will chain one I actually chained one and skip one chain and into the next we work the next which is the second raglan increase so which is one cluster, chain one, one cluster into the same stitch, actually into the same uh, chain. Now, uh, to secure one cluster, we chain one, so it's not about this chain one, so we chain one in between, okay? Again, the next, the second cluster into the same chain, and like this, so yarn over, pull through all and chain one to secure one. This is the chain one to secure. Now take another marker, put into the chain one space in between the two clusters and now we have our second raglan increase and we need two more and we go on and we work the back side. For the back side we will work, actually you will work as many as it's written in the pattern but I will work only 12. So I finished the back side of my cardigan and it's actually nine here because the rule the rule is this uh, the number uh, that you have on the sleeve um, di not divided uh, multiply yes um, multiply the with the uh, by by I think <laughs> three 
okay so I have three clusters multiplied by three are nine so it's nine the backside now I already finished my backside and I put my third raglan increase you know that for a raglan we need four increases so I put my third I need one more that will be in between the second sleeve and the second front side part okay now it's very important when you finish the back side just measure yourself put it on the back side from mid shoulder to mid shoulder uh, on the back side and see if it uh, it fits you and if it's okay just continue on if it's not just go on and uh, if it does so doesn't sorry just go on and take another measure uh, larger measure that uh, I put there on my blog but uh, I'm sure it uh, it will uh, work because uh, actually if you work with a medium worsted weight yarn and a let's say five millimeters hook if you work very loosely if you work not very loosely okay if you work very loosely then work with a 4.5 millimeters hook just to have a nice texture a a uh, light texture for your cardigan this is the idea it's very important the size of the hook that you work with okay so it's really really important for the texture that you give to your um, project now i will repeat uh, the two parts that i have to to finish so to complete my first row i will repeat the sleeve and i will repeat the front side and of course in between the sleeve and the, the front side i will put my fourth raglan increase and i will be back to show you what i have and to explain how to continue on really easy when you finish the first row you just have the um, let's say the pattern in your hands actually because from here uh, you just have to continue on working in each row four increases into the raglan increases of course and the rest it's um, just work all the stitches as they are now we know that for this pattern stitch particular pattern stitch we work uh, it's uh, worked in two steps two rows first row are clusters second row are uh, front, uh, back post uh, double crochets and of course for the increase into the second row you will work two double crochets uh, one double crochet chain one one double crochet into the chain one space with a marker and this is what i wrote on the um, description on my blog so now i didn't write all each actually of um, the rows that I worked for my uh, yoke because it's actually easy in each row you increase for the front side uh, parts you increase once because it's just one that you add more uh, and for the sleeves the two sleeves and the back side you increase twice because it's one here and one here so it's one here, one here, one here, one here. So it's really, really easy to keep track of your stitches. Now, for the second row, I always begin with a chain three. So it's one, two, three. Then turn, yarn over, and work your back post around each of your cluster. Back post, double crochet, so like this really really easy if you don't know actually the stitch you have the link below and into the blog of the video with the pattern stitch so you can just go on and watch it first and now i just want to show you how to increase with the double crochet and one more thing for the yoke you just go on increasing in each raglan uh, increase here where you have the marker so four times but if you think uh, at, um, you think it's larger it goes i don't know the shape it's larger that you want 
just stop increasing in each row and increase in each of your second row which means the second row so the row which increases will be the row with the the, the double crochet uh, row okay so you will stop increase into the cluster row you will increase only into the second so into the uh, double crochet row okay so will be will be just perfect okay now let me finish the first side of the front and just to show you how to increase with the double crochet too so I worked my last over uh, around my last cluster and I have here of the front side then I have here my increase and now around the first cluster of the increase I will work my back post double crochet and into the chain one I will work one double crochet chain one and one double crochet and this is how you have to increase for the second row of the pattern stitch and of course you will take the marker and put it into the chain one space that you worked in between the two double crochets and this is the increase okay now don't forget to work around the second cluster of the increase of the previous row so here don't forget to work this double crochet back post double crochet because oops I forgot to chain one and this is very important don't forget to chain one so you work a stitch chain one work a stitch chain one always chain one in between the stitches and now I just continue on with my pattern stitch and I will just go on and work some rows here for my little swatch and I will show you the second most important the second important part for the pattern which is uh, how to divide okay when you finish the, the, the yoke and then you just go on with all the stitches for the length that you want just one more thing I want to show you first uh, it's uh, about that uh, if you don't want to increase at one time as I said before I explained before if you don't want to continue on increasing in each row you will increase in each of your second row with will must be a double crochet row and to increase it's easy so we just work one double crochet chain one one double crochet oops it's here sorry okay one double crochet chain one one double crochet but into the next row so the row that you don't have to increase uh, you will just go on and work on the top of the first double crochet of the increase of the previous row you will work one cluster and this chain one to secure and chain one more now skip directly into the next double crochet of the increase of the previous row the second actually double crochet and work another cluster and that's all but you have to put the marker in between these two so into the chain one in between these two because it's here that into the next double crochet row you will increase so we will work one double crochet this we will work one double crochet chain one one double crochet of course in this little swatch I will increase in each of my row but it's that to show you how to do it so I worked some round, uh, rows more and let's say that this is my complete yoke it is not but just to give you the idea the steps that we have to work to complete our cardigan and from here it's just perfect so the length it's perfect underarm and the, the length and the width of the, the back side and of the sleeves it's perfect so we can divide now to divide we will work the front side until we reach the marker actually I wrote in the 
on my blog exactly the same. So until you reach the marker, which means you will work, uh, this will be your last stitch into the stitch before the marker and you stop there. So I finished the front side and now we will just want to skip the sleeve and to work the back side. But for this we have to work underarm some chains. Now I worked five chains so you have to put a number of a uh, even number. No. A odd number of stitches and I put five. Now you can put seven or nine. So five is okay. You just measure yourself. It's better like this. Why odd number? Because for our uh, multiple, for our um, pattern stitch, we need chain one to skip. In the next, we will work the stitch. The next will be skipped. The next, we will work the stitch. And the next will be skipped. And then, yarn over, skip the sleeve. And the next stitch where you have the marker on the left side of the marker the next stitch will be your first stitch for the back side and then you will work the back side and exactly the same thing to skip from the back side to the front side okay and this is how you have to divide. Then you will just go on and work the length that you want for your cardigan. Now for the um, for the sleeves, it's really easy. As I said before, uh, when you we will when you will work the sleeve, you will already have here your stitches worked. So in my case, there will be two stitches here. So you will work uh, your two stitches here and some stitches more on this side so uh, to to have a nice um, shape here without gaps okay so that stitches that you will put uh, you can decrease them and I explain so you have the explanation on the blog how to decrease them actually I put two decrease on the sleeves because I thought it was a little bit large so I, I didn't want it like this and uh, that would be all so it's as you can see it's really really easy to work it so just uh, look the watch the tutorial of the um, blouse that I made with the same pattern and uh, of course the the written instruction on my blog and you'll see it's really really easy so hope you enjoy please thumb up leave me a nice comment and see you at the next tutorial bye bye